All right, um, I'm gonna show you how to replace a glued in door seal on a fridge or a freezer. So if you lift the seal up from behind or underneath, you'll see there's no screws. The seal is glued behind this door, this door liner right here. So underneath here, it's filled with styrofoam. So what, what you should do is grab a putty knife, preferably. You can use a screwdriver, but it's a bit, you, a putty knife is a bit better because it's, it's so thin. And you get the putty knife just behind here where the seal's glued in. And you'll, you'll hear the glue or the styrofoam breaking as you pull the putty knife down. You can hear the styrofoam cracking. You want to go all the way around, top, sides. You might have to use a little bit of force, but you're not going to break anything. So you keep going all the way around. Just like that. Once you've done that, you can lift the seal upwards. And you will need to use a little bit of force. So if you grab the seal like this, and you just push it up, like that, you'll see the seal coming out from behind that door liner where it's glued in. And this is the styrofoam that's holding it in place. And when you use the putty knife, that's gonna tear through that styrofoam, which makes it easier to get the seal out. So once you've done that, just using a tiny bit of force, you can get the rest of the seal out from behind that door liner. Just like that. And you just keep going all the way down. Until you've completely removed the seal. And then you're just left with the door liner. Now, what you want to do is before you put the new door seal on, you just want to clear out some of this, this uh, styrofoam that's behind here. You can use a flat bladed screwdriver, it might be a bit easier to clear out the styrofoam. But you just go around and you just clear it out of it, you just, just like this. And you'll, you'll hear that cracking sound, which is the styrofoam breaking, coming loose from the door panel. And you just go all the way around. So then with the new door seal that we send you, the lip on the back will now be able to lip in behind here. It can be quite difficult getting that lip behind, trying to force it in. What I recommend doing is getting something like a flat bladed screwdriver, just behind in the corner area like that, which, which allows it, which gives you a lot more room to get that, that flap or that hook behind there. So just put a screwdriver in the corner, get that corner in just like that. And then you can take the screwdriver out and then you can do the other corner. The corners are probably the hardest parts. So just like that. And then you can get the corner in. And then once you've done that, you should be able to just do the top, the sides, the rest. You can use this uh, in other areas just to help get it in. But that's pretty much it. That's, uh, that's all that's involved. Once you've got the seal in, behind the door liner properly. Um, most of the time, most of the time, the seal will, will be held down pretty tightly. It's, 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 it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, but if the seal is really loose and it's coming out, you can put a little bit of glue behind the seal, just as a little tad of glue. Or you can put a few small little self-tapping screws into the door liner about a fist apart just so it clamps that door.